I think many firms understand how big it's going to be in electric vehicles. No one's giving it credit for autonomous. Our conviction on its autonomous strategy has increased. So yeah. maybe a new price target. Yes, and we've just finished our model. Uh, we're going to write the blog with it. Yeah, so stay tuned. It's like Elon Musk has been beamed down from another <laughs> planet to show us mortals how to run a, how to run a company. <laughs>
be 234 billion and 367 billion respectively on their bull case which is a difference of over 51 percent between their bear case and their bull case on the revenue aspect of it and as we can see we have some great news over here coming from the tesla insurance which is something that wasn't included on last report but now they're projecting 23 billion for their bear case and 6 billion for their bull case but that could probably be due to the fact that if they expect an autonomous future to start anywhere before 2025 maybe they're lowering their expectations for the revenue because of the likelihood of vehicles being able to drive themselves thus lowering the risk and due to the economies of scale fixing a tesla will probably go lower the price of replacing an entire vehicle is part of the insurance premium so seeing that sharp decrease does indicate that kathy wood and arc invest as a whole are expecting that the insurance side is going to gather less revenue due to the fact that tesla is going to be much more safer and cheaper to fix we've done the the modeling using uh something called rights law it's a derivation of moore's law so we think that battery costs are declining such that by 2022 a mass market ev will be cheaper than a gas powered car and just to offset that just take a look at the bottom where it says autonomous ride hailing where they had zero in 2020 because we still don't have it but on their bull case they do so their four thousand dollar price target for the bull case is the only one that includes their ride hailing services at revenues of 327 billion dollars we already know it's going to be tremendously huge and one of the reasons why Cathy would hinted that this was going to be a much higher price tag they expect Tesla to be hitting up to 40 percent margins on their vehicles excluding the credits that Tesla already gets total gross margin of 43 percent on their bear case and 50 percent on their bull case for the four thousand dollar price tag so I hope you guys understand that these numbers are completely unheard of because no car automaker has been able to reach such high numbers of margins this would mean that Tesla is going to be a tremendously huge cash cow but again this is their bull case and it is something that we still need to keep in mind is most likely probably going to be changing as time goes on and we see that in their bear case this is in billions that's going to be 1.5 trillion dollars when it comes to their bear market cap and 4 trillion dollar valuation on their bull case as of the time of recording this video the market cap is just a little bit over 628 billion so 1.5 is already putting that at over twice the amount that it is today and if we multiply that by 6x it gives us 3.76 trillion which is below the expected bull case that they were showing us over here so it is safe to say that they're projecting an over 6x on Tesla's market cap and about 6x of Tesla's price target. So extremely huge with cash flow yield of 5% to 4.2% respectively. So tremendously huge amount of information that we have over here. Now, ARK Invest numbers are actually derived from Wright's Law, which basically states that for every doubling of production units, the prices of the goods are going to be dropping significantly which is one of the main reasons why ARK Invest is able to explain on the exponentials and how they arrive on their numbers for Tesla to continue to drop in price. That's the example that they gave for the average of Tesla's being from 43 on their bear case to $36,000 on average. And they also have capital efficiency per car from $8,000 on their bear case and $6,000 on their bull case. This is just an example, thanks to Wright's law. So over here, we can see that ARK Invest is expecting Tesla on their bear case to increase productions of a maximum of 65% or 90% on their bull case. And remember that only the bull case for $4,000 price target is the one that includes the autonomous future in which they're expecting 60% of all Teslas to be autonomous, which is where they arrived at their $327 billion in ride hailing revenue. So this is something great, but even if it doesn't happen and we they're still expected, you know, on their bear case of $1,500, which again is more than double today's numbers and percentage of of cars sold in human driving right hailing 40% on each because remember that it is still a possibility that Tesla can have a human ride hailing service that can also compete with Uber and Lyft. I think they could launch a ride hailing network ahead of full autonomy with human drivers behind the wheel and they'd still get that nice recurring revenue stream, those high margins that we expect off of those autonomous taxi platforms and they'd have a lot of competitive advantages against Uber and Lyft because they're lower, uh, it's a lower cost per mile to drive a Tesla, they have vertically integrated insurance. Um, we think they could do it better than the other players out 
there and potentially take a higher cut of the gross revenues off of the system because of those cost advantages um, and even perhaps pay their drivers more. And regarding the electric vehicles, they provide a little bit more information here. You know, they say since 2024 analysis, we have increased our assumptions for Tesla's capital efficiency. Previously, we estimated that Tesla would spend $11,000 to $16,000 per incremental unit of capacity in 2024. In 2019, Tesla spent $1.33 billion on capital expenditures, CapEx, on production, and 509,737 vehicles, an increase of 144,505 vehicles from the previous year, suggesting that Tesla's incremental vehicle produced was roughly 9,200. Now, without going into the entire thing, I'm obviously going to have the link in the description for you guys. They just go on explaining also the battery cell chemistry that we learned, in which it gave Tesla a reduced investment investment cost of 75%, you know, which is the process that Tesla is expected to do with a 4680 battery alongside with the structural battery system and the mega casting press model being fully in the back and the front rear, which is something that hasn't happened for every Tesla as of right now, just yet. So when all those things combined happen, 75% in cost reduction in total is what Tesla is expected. Regarding the insurance, they go on saying that ARC estimates that Tesla could achieve better than average margins on insurance thanks to the highly detailed driving data that is collected from their vehicles. They also add that Tesla should be able to add real-time data, pricing it dynamically, lowering the customer acquisition, and increasing margins. Relative to Progressive's 13% EBIT margin, ARC estimates that Tesla will achieve margins of close to 40%. If it were to sell 40% of the vehicles with its own insurance offering by 2025. So pretty much an increase of 27%. Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting in the human right hailing side. Uh, ARK Invest assumes that Tesla had a 30% chance of delivering it fully by 2024. But right now, they say that the probability of a human autonomous right hailing with a probability of 50% by 2025. And they go on saying that Tesla could generate $160 billion of EBITDA in the bulk case scenarios. And this is according to the Marco simulation, which again, I am leaving a link in the description so you guys can look at the simulation that ARK Invest is utilizing for these estimates. They do still note that in the bottom, they say that we do not model Tesla's utility energy storage or solar business in our models. We also have not modeled Bitcoin assumptions in our model. So it is pretty interesting to me that they don't utilize anything about the energy side, which is something humongous that Tesla has. Tesla has already been ramping that side up, you know, with a mega pack that has already been proven to be a tremendously huge business. We're talking about trillions of dollars here. This is why they're expected $3,000 a share in my opinion is extremely conservative so definitely something that we need to take into account here tesla's price target could actually be even larger at the end of the day especially if arc starts to take it more seriously it is something that i'm a little bit disappointed that i wish that arc had gotten a little bit more onto but i would like to know your opinion whether you think about this price prediction do you think that she's right on the three thousand the four thousand or do you think that you know tesla is gonna go downhill and it's not really going to make it not even to their bear case of one thousand five hundred Either way, Tesla is a company that has multi-levels, multi-dimensions, not just the right hailing side, both autonomous and human. We're also talking about the battery side, the manufacturing, the energy side, which was not included on this estimate and and the insurance. There's also a lot of other spin-ups like the HVAC. So I would love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys think personally about this. And if you have watched up until this point and you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing to Electric Invest and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next video on Tesla. And with that being said, guys, I'll see you on the comment section <laughs> and next video. Down from another planet. <laughs> to show us mortals how to run a, how to run a company <laughs>